classic cauliflower dish as a side. And you'll want to take this, believe me, to your next potluck. You don't have to wait for the holidays. What I've done is I've taken a head of cauliflower, and just before we started, I started steaming this so that it was still al dente, mm -hmm. but it's been blanched, if you will, in salted water and out still fork tender. So that's just in its own little world there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some butter, and to the butter, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to increase the burning point here, the temperature of when butter will burn. And as this begins to melt, we're gonna add flour to make a roux, okay. okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle flour, and we're gonna begin to make a roux. Let's wait for that butter to melt down so that we know how much it is. While that's happening, we can always add more flour. I'm gonna, it's usually 50-50, 50 pots flour to butter or flour to oil when you're making a roux. Now, classically this dish, when it was made, you would flavor milk because what we're doing with this roux is we're making a, a cream sauce or a bechamel sauce. Okay. But to get a little extra flavor, you basically take a half an onion mm -hmm. and you stud it with some cloves. So you're gonna get a little clovey flavor in your onion. And not only that, but also what I like to add is a bay leaf. So whether you add the bay leaf to it or you clove the bay leaf as well to the onion, but this goes in a pot and basically that then gets covered with milk and you begin to bring the milk up to temperature, okay? So now we're gonna check on our roux here and our roux looks just about perfect. We've cooked the roux out so it doesn't taste like flour. Then when we're ready, we're gonna take our scalded milk that's been flavored with the onion and we're gonna simmer that and I'm straining it just in case. Mm. Now. <laughs> I know, how could that smell good already? <laughs> now, yeah, it's the clove. Uh -oh. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a boil. When that happens now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some garlic and shallots that I chopped up and fuse that in there. And then what we're gonna do is use some fresh grated nutmeg Nutmeg is one of the spices that go quick. So, you know, if you have it in your cupboard for more than, well, let's ask you. <laughs> 10 Lisa, years. 10 years. <laughs> Time to throw that baby out, I can tell you that. You mean it's like the ground stuff and the little... <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, I bet it doesn't smell like that. Take a whiff of that. No, it doesn't. Right? Mm -mm. And? How long has yours nice. been in the old pantry? Oh, no, no. Mine's 27 not years? No, <laughs> no, come on. No, not quite. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to put it back in its little house, and then we're going to see exactly how thick this is. Now, while that's happening, we're going to take our cauliflower that's been blanched, and we're going to put it in our casserole. Yeah. See, this is the great thing about this dish, because now this dish is almost done. So we're going to add some salt. Wow. And we're going to add a little bit of pepper. Not only to that, this is white pepper right out of the mill. Mm. Now, once the sauce is done, we have a cream sauce, which is a mother sauce. Now we're gonna make it a compound sauce and we're gonna add Gruyere, which is a Swiss cheese. So we're gonna add Gruyere in here. Yeah. <laughs> See where I'm going, huh, ladies? All right, now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work that in, let it cook, let it come to a boil. By the way, our oven's set at 400 degrees because this is only gonna take about 25 minutes when we're done. But I have another cauliflower dish I wanna share with you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cauliflower head. Oh yeah, don't mess around with it. And basically what we're gonna do is strip this little baby down. And then what we're gonna do is take a paring knife Cut the end off here. Take the paring knife, just go around, and then watch this. We're just gonna get our little cauliflower, flowers. little flowers like this. Oh, watch this. Now, Ann, yeah. you like garlic? Oh, I love garlic. You do? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, what do you think about if I tell you that we're gonna take 
21 cloves oh, of garlic. Buddy, that's going to taste really oh, good. Oh, yes. What about if I told you that we're going to take salt and season it. Then we're going to come over here for some pepper and season that. Meanwhile, our oven is still on. Then we're just going to take two lemons. And we're going to take the lemons, cut them in half. We're going to squeeze the lemon on the cauliflower. Squeeze the lemon. It's like a new game. Squeeze the lemon on the cauliflower. And then we're going to take good olive oil. And now, we're going to come over here for our cheese sauce. And we're going to put that over this cauliflower. You see? And then, we're going to take some breadcrumbs on this one here. And some breadcrumbs on this one over here. And then we're going to the oven. Oh, a surprise. Our lemon cauliflower. And... Our Gruyere cheese, classic cauliflower.